Here's some ideas for alternate construction of uh, an air compressor uh, from a lawnmower engine. Um, since you probably won't have as much machining facilities as my friend did, what I would suggest, kind of like I did on the piston valve here, you're, you're going to have to have room for your bolt heads. So if you just use the flat steel plate, the valve is going to sit on top of it like I've shown here. And then your screws will uh, sit above that. So what I suggest is uh, using two head gaskets to gain the uh, room that you need to do that because the piston comes right up here. I guess you could also grind little notches in the piston if you needed to but uh, what I would suggest actually might be to bolt a piece of uh, I don't know whatever thickness uh, you know probably under 8 inch aluminum to the top of the piston and because uh, it's not going to be spinning 3600 uh, I, mine runs uh, six of that so about 600 rpm and the reason for that is and you'll also want to I'll get back to the reason in a second you'll also want to fill this whole area here in with high temperature silicone seal you want to minimize the area in the and uh, volume in the combustion chamber uh, because uh, otherwise your uh, compressor won't put out very much air especially at higher pressures so every little bit that you can fill uh, above the piston in will help so like say if you add two head gasket thicknesses to it you know you're reducing the you're increasing the volume so you'll want to uh, reduce that uh, back down if possible um, like I say even a piece of sheet metal or whatever whatever you bolt on top of the head will help out but uh, anyways that's just uh, maybe a, a simpler way to accomplish the same thing so uh, good luck with it